Hey everyone, uh, I know it's April and we should have the April update from Microsoft Business Central. I've actually been playing around with the updates and next video we're going to get into those. But this video we're going to keep going on the item costing though. So if you're not into costing, you don't like costing and you just want to follow the inventory, oh, you're going to probably shut off this video. But anyways, if you love costing, here we go. Um, what we're going to talk about today is something called expected cost. Uh, and it's a nice feature within Business Central. So basically what is expected cost? If you have a PO, purchase order, and we're, we're gonna be maybe buying the spring uh, coffee mug. Let's say we have a uh, hundred at five dollars for, so 500 total. Um, when we are on the PO and we actually do receive, not invoice, right? So we do receive, not invoice. What does that do? So as we looked into it before, when we receive a not invoice, nothing happens on the GL. We get a idle ledger entry. So the inventory comes in, but the GL is blank, empty, nothing. But there's a way to have the GL record something. So there is a chat box for expected cost posting. It's in the inventory setup, and I'll show you that in the application. If you check that off, when you do receive not invoice, you get GL postings. So you got to set those up as well, with, you know, where in the GL things are going to post. And I'm going to show you that. Uh, but basically what happens is that this 500, if you receive that, uh, it hits an inventory account, which is interim, like so. And then it hits a accrual account for inventory. So basically, there's a $500 that books on the asset for interim inventory and then accrual for 500 books on the liability side, right? And then when you actually invoice, these wash out. So this is receive not invoice. And let's say that's task number one. And then when you invoice, let's say number two. So this is number one. This is number one. Number two is invoice. Then what happens is 500 get posted here. So that's two, 500 here, two. And then it books, you know, like we know before, which is on the inventory account, 500, that's number two. And then on the AP, 500, which is number two. And then it posts also on the direct cost and purchases. I'm going to skip those for now. But so it actually washes out these accounts. So in the beginning, it puts in these accounts as an accrual. And then we actually invoice, it flushes them out. Um, an interesting aspect to this is, of course, what if you buy, uh, I mean, you receive it, not invoice it, and then you possibly sell it. So it, you actually get the inventory in, it gets accrued for, and then you go ahead and you get a cost of goods sold. Uh, and I might want to cover that in the next video. Uh, but that's kind of taking the whole accrual piece all the way up the chain. That works. Uh, but it's, it's next video, right? So hopefully next video, though, tomorrow, we're going to go into the April updates, and then we'll get back into inventory costing. Until next time, take a look. Okay, so let's take a look at how that works in the system. If I go into inventory, inventory, posting group, or posting setup, I have added a, an inventory account for the interim account, an interim inventory account. So we have the standard inventory account, and then we have the inventory account interim. So this is where the expected cost Posts. So let's take a look at how that is set up. And it's for the main location. So if I go into inventory setup, 
uh, I can actually go ahead and check off expected cost posting. So I have to do show more and click on that. And then it does this. I just say yes. Okay, so that's fine. Um, now I'm going to go into a purchase order. And we're going to work with our uh, item that we usually work with, which is the spring coffee mug. So we'll buy from the Fabricum and get into the spring coffee mug into the main location. We're going to get 50. Actually, let's just get 500 like that. And now I'm just going to receive, just receive. And let's actually put the, let me see, let's put the posting date to be, so it's uh, 3.15, let's put it today, which is 3rd of April, like that. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and hit actions, uh, post, and post, and just receive not invoice. So we're just receiving this. Now before, if you remembered, it uh, didn't post any GL entry. But I'm hoping now that with this setup, it'll actually post the expected cost. So it goes over here and tells me there's something wrong with the inventory accrual account interim must have a value and the general posting setup domestic no tax. So let me just go ahead and fix that. General posting setup. There we go. Uh, and we have domestic no tax. And we need to specify the interim account. That's probably all the way over here. Um, so we have no tax, domestic, and direct cost, overhead, variance. That must be blind. Hmm. Let's see if it's missing. Here it is. Okay, so it's not made visible by Microsoft. Thank you, Microsoft. <laughs> uh, we'll just put both of these here because they might both be need to be used. Uh, so it's inventory accrual account interim and cost of goods sold account interim. And I might just go ahead and put that to the same account as I had before. Um, so we did add here the expected cost uh, and the cost of goods sold account. Actually, I want to create a new one for that. So let's create expected cost of goods sold. And I have a feeling that when we start posting through this, if we actually post uh, cost of goods sold for something that expected uh, and it has not been realized yet, uh, that might be hitting that account. So it'd be fun to explore that a little bit later. Um, but we are going to create 50105 50, COGS interim uh, and use that one. Set this back out. Uh, just hit OK. And then we have that. Current interim. Actually, better yet, I'll create an extra account for this too. Just create the uh, 107.04.05. Uh, so we can see how this all posts. There we go. Everybody has a separate account. Very good. So with uh, 107.05 for inventory accrual account interim, Cox account interim is 50.105.
So now let's post our receipt. So we're in here. We go ahead and hit actions, posting, post, receive. And now it receives. And what we want to do now, so this is 4 3, right? That's the uh, time or the date. So we go into chart of accounts and take a look at what posted. Uh, what I want to do is filter, filter the totals by date filter 4 3 19. That's only 4 3. Okay, so let's take a look at what happened. So we have the expected cost of 2750 hitting here. So this would be um, the inventory increase. Normally when you receive not invoice, uh, nothing happens here. But in this case, we actually do get a posting. We get 2750. Now we don't have a liability to the vendor yet because we haven't posted the invoice. So the offset is actually going to be here at the interim inventory accrual account right here. So you can see the split and you might want to put this in, uh, interim inventory accrual account on the liability side. I guess that would make sense. I just put them right next to each other here. Um, and then if we go a little bit further down, we see that we don't have any Cox interim yet, uh, but I'm suspecting that we might get a Cox interim once we sell this because it's really not fully realized but since the cost is in here and if it gets sold this particular item uh, rather than hitting cox straight it might hit cox interim uh, and that would be something we can take a look at in the next video but here at least you see the split on expected cost and inventory interim